Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday. I accidentally, I didn't film this yesterday because uh, me and Devin had a ton of errands and I was super tired and I, I forgot, I accidentally forgot to um, record. But anyways, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we went to a craft fair yesterday and it was huge and lots of walking and I almost died. <laughs> I felt like I was gonna die. But anyways, I wanna announce the winner for the thankful giveaway. I'll refresh your memory, it's these two uh, skeins of yarn. This is a full skein. It's just it's not as, not as pretty as this one. <laughs> but it's the Yarn B, which is Hobby Lobby brand. Uh, velvety Smooth Sparkle, and the colorway is Blush. It's velvety and sparkly, hence the name. <laughs> and also this puzzle is also from Hobby Lobby. I got it on clearance uh, during one of their spring clearances. And it says turning strings into things. So it's a cute puzzle. Let's see here. It's 500 pieces. So that's what the uh, winner is going to get. So I randomly drew the winner and checked to make sure they were subscribed to me. <laughs> uh, the first person I picked actually was not publicly subscribed to me, so I had to pick another one. But uh, anyways, so the winner is, drum roll, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh Kristen F I'll pop up your comment right here so Kristen congratulations and thank you for supporting my channel for over a year is what your little thingy says when I hover over it <laughs> um to see if you're publicly subscribed to me but um yeah so congratulations let uh shoot me an email I'll pop it up down here and also it's in the description box uh let me know that you saw this video and also um I will give you a secret word through that email to go back to your original comment and edit and add that word to it because only you can edit your comment no one else can including me um and then i'll know you're you <laughs> and then you can send me your mailing address and i will ship this out to you uh probably tuesday if i hear from you by then and if i don't hear from you by then by then you have until next friday the 26th i believe um to contact me if i don't hear from you by then i'll have to draw a new winner but uh hopefully you'll see this and contact me but yeah so Back to the craft fair. We bought a new ornament it's right here. <laughs> it's a wooden one. I like these family ones, but most of them are clay. Pretty sure all of ours are up high because they're breakable and they're really heavy. So when we seen these at the craft fair and they were wood, I wanted to snatch one up. It's only got three snowmen on it because June's not technically here yet. So next year we'll get a four member one. But it's a Christmas tree with three little snowmans. And we just had her put the year and Merry Christmas and then our names on the hats. And it's just so cute. I also got my mom one that looks like a little cookie tray <laughs> with two little gingerbread cookies on it for her grandkids, the current ones. <laughs> um, but uh, next year, you know, I could get her one with three. But I wanted to put it right here so that it'd be visible in my videos when I film in the floor. And it doesn't hang heavy on the tree like those clay ones do. I know I've, we've got like four of them up there. They're just way up there. We, we get one every year. And I actually tried to find one this year that had a pregnant mom. And I found some online, but they're like $30. I didn't want to spend that much on an ornament that's probably going to get broken at some point. Um, so we'll just add June next year when she's actually here. But yeah, so I thought that was so cute. It was really cheap. This one was like, I believe it was uh, $6. And the cookie one was $5. And um yeah, who knows if I see that same lady at the craft fair next year because we go to that same craft fair every year. I might see if I can get just another little <laughs> uh, cookie to add to my mom's cookie one. But um, yeah, I keep getting emails. <laughs> I'm trying to like read them, but it's kind of rude. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, I also got some, we got some stuff for the baby and stuff for Jesse and then some Christmas stuff too. It was a lot of fun and some snacks because <laughs> we always buy food when we're at these events. Um, and it was a lot of fun. It's just, it was a lot of walking. There was over a hundred Avengers and it was in a huge arena. So there was, uh, staircases, you know, going up and down between the, the, the levels. And it was just a lot. <laughs> I was exhausted by the time we left. And I was actually having Braxton Hicks contractions after we left. So I, as soon as we got to the car, I chugged a water because we, we keep waters in the car. And it's cold enough now that they're like basically refrigerated out there. Um, so yeah, and we came home and I was pretty much sore. And just didn't do nothing I haven't done anything today it's it's after five o'clock and I'm still just I took a shower that's about it <laughs> and I want I did I did want to get this video up because it's already day late but uh, yeah I'm gonna go back to watching my show I'm watching a Netflix documentary called the innocent man because <laughs> I love true crime top shows and uh, I might crochet or I might just sit here and watch TV because that's what I've been doing all day I haven't done anything 
no craftiness, nothing. <laughs> so um, I guess I'm going to hop back and do that some more and just relax and take it easy until tomorrow. And then hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow and uh, can get some stuff done. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.